I'm Jeff Chandler for the Events Calendar. You can access the settings for the Events Calendar and Events Calendar Pro from the WordPress admin by following Events, Settings from your WordPress admin bar or sidebar. The settings offer a lot of cool options to get your calendar looking just the way you want it. In this video, we're going to review what each of the options entails and note that some of the settings below are specific to Events Calendar Pro and are stated as such. Creating an event is actually really easy. Let's start in the WordPress dashboard. You should be able to find a menu entry called Events. And once you find it, click on it and you should see the Add New link. As you can see up at the top here, we've got Add New and Manager, so we'll click on Add New. And the event editor hopefully won't contain too many surprises. It is intentionally almost identical, at least on first glance, to the regular page and post editor used by WordPress itself. So if you're familiar with WordPress, you should feel right at home. Here is how to create an event in the classic editor. First, we have the title area, which is where you would add your events title. Then below that, we have the events description, which is where you would describe your event. Then we have the time and date area. Setting the time and date for your event is required as well as any desired recurrences. Note that you must be running Events Calendar Pro in order to see the recurrences option. Number four, you could choose your location. You could select an existing venue or create your own. And if you're using Events Calendar Pro, you can attach more than one venue to an event. You can specify the event organizer here on number five. Number six, you can link to an external website about the event. Number seven, determine the cost of the event. And if we scroll up here, we can see that there's a meta box for event options. This is where you can determine if the event should be featured or stickied in the month view. And then at number nine, we have a featured image, which would be displayed in the event listings. Again, optional, but it's really a great way to set your event apart from other events on your page. Now, if you're using the black editor, the default layout will look slightly different. Here, we could see the area where you can add a title to your event. And right below that, you can select the date and time for your initial event. Note that this is required. And this is where you would also have any desired recurrences. That's optional. Then you can add a description for your event. Number four, you could add a price. Number five, specify the event organizer. Number six, you can select an existing venue or create your own. That's optional. Again, if you're using Events Calendar Pro, you can attach more than one venue to an event. To add another venue, you'll click on the three vertical dots and select Add Before or Add After, then type forward slash venue and select the event venue block. Number seven, you can link to an external website about the event. Then you can provide visitors with the way to add this event to their own calendar software, that's optional. You can show related events. And then down below, you can display tickets or SVPs if you're using Event Tickets and Event Tickets Plus. Number 11, you can show who is attending the event if you're using Event Tickets Plus. And up here at number 12, you can select an event category, which is optional. And then for number 13, you can upload a featured image to display in the event listings. And last but not least, you can determine whether this event should be featured, even stickied in the month view. For more help on creating events, please read our Creating an Event Knowledge Base article that is linked to in the video description below. If you're using Events Calendar Pro, you can create a recurring event. In the time and date settings of your event, you will find the event series settings, which are used to turn one event into a recurring event. And here, under the time and date settings we're taking a look at here, you can see we have recurring event and we can make it daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, once, and we can even add more events. And then on the calendar view here, which is on the same page, you can choose days, you can make it a multi-day event, and again, you can repeat this event with various options down below. If you encounter any issues or need additional assistance, please don't hesitate to contact our support team. 